Now, somebody else who is no stranger to representing their country, Lexi Thompson, had an interesting day as well. This is her birdie putt at two, Amanda. Yeah, she did. Uh, it, just a lot of expectations on her because she's Lexi Thompson, even with that retirement announcement. And she played just that consistent golf. And when she got herself into trouble, this was extremely difficult. It was a fried egg. She had got, taken herself really out of position off of the tee, which we will address later. Uh, tried to get something kind of cute with it, but has another bunker shot. Gorgeous. She goes from real to that struggle to getting up and down, uh, even though that is for a bogey. Avoiding doubles is really big in a major. Yeah, she was able to stop the bleeding there. Now a par putt on eight. And it really is all the tee shots, putting herself out of position. Uh, her putting and chipping was really good today. And uh, try to kind of minimize the damage that could be done from missed tee shots. And this is on the 12th hole. Really had to be careful that she didn't get too cute with it. Leave it in that bunker. Made sure she got it past the hole. Now her tee shot on 13. Being able to avoid hitting a uh, driver because it is an iron shot in her hand. Uh, when she has been at her best, she's been one or two on the tour in greens and regulation, gets that one close. That would lead to birdie. Now her par putt on 16. Uh, her pacing around this distance is really good. That one she did leave short, but uh, give herself just a little tap in. On 18, she reaches the par five in two. This was her best drive of the day and took advantage of her best drive, 190 yards from the pin. Almost gets it up on that tier. So has a little bit of work left for Eagle. You can see it kind of going back. But you know, Lexi the entire day was smiling with Mark and then has an Eagle opportunity almost makes it taps in for birdie and here's what she had to say after the round overall um solid day you know i made some bogeys out there some um not so great shots i guess maybe on the back nine off the tee but made some great recovery shots and made some really good, nice putts too so just going to build on that um but there was some tough pins out there and of course the golf course is the golf course so it's tough as it is um but yeah some of the some of those shots coming into the greens they tuck the pins and you just really have to just play to the middle of the green give yourself 20 25 footer as an opportunity how important is it to just grind out here, save par when you can, um, and just sort of stay near the top of the leaderboard knowing anything can happen at the major? It's very important. Coming into the week, getting to play the golf course again, I didn't quite remember it when it was here last time. But, um, but yeah, it's a tough track, so you know that you have to grind out there. There's going to be some shots that you have to pitch out and just give yourself a par opportunity. And, um, you know, if you make a bogey, all right, so... So be it, move on. Um, and pars are good out there. So you definitely have to take advantage of the few birdie opportunities that you get. But you just have to be patient and don't get too down on the iffy shots that you can hit out there. Awesome. I'll open it up. Who wants to start? Behind me. Lexi, the, the announcers always have that cliche of, oh, if you make birdie on 18, like dinner's going to taste that much better. <laughs> like, how, how true is that? How different is your <laughs> mindset that you made birdie on 18? It helps. It will help dinner taste better, that's for sure. Um, yeah, well, they moved that tee up about 30, 35 yards. So I knew once I got a good drive down there, I was just hoping I had a good number into the front of the green and um, hit a four iron to the middle of it. And, yeah, it definitely helps to end on birdie. But, you know, it's, it's still a tough driving hole. You have to shape it around the trees with them moving it up. So you still have to commit to a line and a finish line. Oh, hard for dinner not to taste good after that great birdie on 18. As we take a look at her major performances over the last about 10 years, she's come close so many times. It's been 10 years since Lexi Thompson has won a major championship, coming close in this championship back in 2022, tied for second and third in 2015. So Lexi Thompson has had so many opportunities for another major Amanda 
perhaps this could be the time when she gets it done. But it just seems like when she was out there today, there were some moments where she was compounding errors and having to, to fight her swing, especially off the tee. And it really was off the tee um, that was giving her uh, trouble. Uh, that, but you know what? Right now we're seeing Lexi smile. I noticed during the round, she was high-fiving little girls. She was taking her time signing autographs between uh, holes, which was so impressive. But yeah, Lexi Thompson, it was off the tee that gave her the biggest trouble because she was so good around the greens to not make it a much bigger number. And when we look, you know, how she was playing today, it was, you know, off the tee. She hit 45% of her fairways. It, you know, that's going to be a big challenge. Is she's 71st right now in the field in driving accuracy. We see on the third hole, uh, that's even just with a fairway wood. Uh, you know, these fairways, we mentioned earlier, are extremely narrow. But when she was finding the rough, it was leading to a lot of bogeys. So third hole, she bogeys. This is on the right. Now, on the sixth hole, this is a part five. Lexi is one of the longest players on tour, so really she needs to take advantage of these part fives by being able to reach them in two, make the birdies, maybe eagle. She would end up parring the sixth hole because of her missed tee shot. Then here on eight, again, really far to the right, into the trees, having to go hunt that down. That tee shot would lead to a bogey. And it was the kind of the case with, on, on 11 as well. Part five led to a par because she couldn't find the fairway. Now 18, a different story. Absolutely strikes it down the middle of the fairway. Crushes the ball, hits it farther than anyone in the field the entire day. And had 190 yards left, which led to a possible eagle. She ended up two putting for birdie, but just so important for her to find the fairways. And uh, actually, her greens in regulation haven't been terrible. She's hit 75% of the greens in regulation uh, so far, but really having to work for it by missing the fairways. She's currently just four shots back. What do you think of her mindset going into the final round? How do you like her chances as she starts processing what she needs to do to be able to possibly win a major championship? I really like her chances. Uh, she, Yes, she's missed these fairways. Uh, that part of her game, though, I'm not super concerned about. Uh, maybe she go hits, hits a couple golf balls on the driving range right here behind us and kind of just finds a little something. For Lexi, it is the putting that when she gets stressed out, she gets really tight. We see the pacing, particularly on her short putts, get really jabby. And that has not been the case at one of the putts that I've seen her this entire three rounds. The first round, she made every single putt with inside 10 feet. And we saw today, whether it was three and a half feet, five foot putts, those are the ones that she made. Those are the ones that do give her troubles. And so, yes, she missed a ton of fairways these last three days. That is not my concern. She will need to straighten it out to be able to really attack, maybe make a couple birdies, uh, you know, put some pressure on Amy Yang. But uh, I really do like Lexi's chances. Yeah, she won't be in the final group. Maybe she'll have a bit oh, more Oh, 100%. Freedom. I agree. I think her not being in the final group, not having that big of a spotlight, being able to kind of relax, you know, joke with her caddy, Mark, be a little bit more relaxed is going to be absolutely huge for Lexi. Yeah, perhaps she gets in post a number yes. and we'll see what happens.